In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the AP Computer Science A Picture Lab. To do that, you're going to need these two files that you see here on my desktop. Where you can get those files is on our Schoology page. So if you go to Schoology, you're going to see PixLab Starter Files. Download that, and once you do, you'll have this file. So this is a zipped folder that contains all the files. So you'll have to double click this, and it'll create another folder on your desktop that you see like this. And within this folder are the files that you're going to need to import into a Java project. I've also included a copy of the student guide as well. So to set up this project, you're going to need to open up Eclipse. And in the top left corner of Eclipse is a quick launch button. So we're going to select Java project, and then we're going to give our project a name. I'm going to name mine PixLab. Two things are going to be important on this screen. The first thing is make sure that you know where you're saving it. I'm going to use the default location here, which is my Eclipse workspace. And the second thing is this lab calls for your Java runtime environment to be 1.6 or above. Mine says 1.8, so I can leave it alone. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. All right, now we have a blank project. So let's go ahead and import these files into this project. To do so, open up this uncompressed folder, the PixLab starter files, and click inside of the classes folder. And basically, we want to get all the files from here. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these files, and I'm actually going to hold down my command key and select these two as well. And then I'm going to just drag them into my project. And I'm going to put these in my SRC, which is my source folder. And then I'm going to click Copy. When I expand this out, I should see my left arrow and right arrow images, as well as all of the Java files that I just dragged and dropped into here. The next thing that we have to do is we have to import the images folder. And the student guide specifically says we must keep them in the folder. So to do that, you're just going to select the overall folder and then just drag it into the root of the project, which is what I called PixLab up here at the top. So when I do that, it's going to copy the files and then they should appear at the bottom of the project, still within the folder. So if I expand this out, you can see all the images that are going to come along with this project. And once again, I, I should probably highlight that they say that you must keep these Im, in the images folder because that's how they wrote the code. All right, to test if we set this up correctly, you can double click on Picture Explorer, which is going to be one of the first uh, classes that you're going to examine in this lab, and push play. So if I push play, I should get a window that pops up with the beach image loaded into it. So if you see this image uh, pop up on your screen, that means you've set up the project correctly.